All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout UIF, where today I am once again having to get back into the swing of things after unfortunately missing a couple of days, this time due to illness. Just my luck that after the already awful couple of weeks I've been having, I got the flu and basically lost my voice for a couple of days, which doesn't really help when you don't have a voice and you gotta make videos. So I did have to take a few days off for that, but I am feeling much better now and able to make videos again, and I am hoping that today goes very well for us, because one good thing that happened while I was away sick is that the mod updated. Just a couple of days ago, I think on the 2nd of March, there was a new update which may have fixed our issues. When I loaded into the save file just a few minutes ago, I was greeted with a new quest, as of course last episode we did finish, granted through console commands, but nonetheless we finished the assault on the Cambridge Police Station. And now we have the Pridwin's Fall, which I'm excited about. That means we finally get to go and destroy the Brotherhood of Steel and the Commonwealth once and for all. There's the words I'm looking for. And yeah, we apparently need to head up to the War Room, which hopefully works. I am a little bit worried, of course, that we'll get up there and the speech and all will still be broken. But at least we have the quest, which is more than I can say for last episode. So hopefully this update, update did fix everything. Though before we head up there, I also want to point out one other thing I've kind of fixed. I have a fresh new set of armor. And in fact, I actually could have gotten this set of armor for a while, as pretty much since we got here to Lowell, I've known about a complete full set of armor over in the engineering area through this door to the outside of Lowell. I, there was a full set of power armor out there with no one in it, but the problem was, and why I haven't grabbed it yet, is that it was already owned, and I didn't feel like stealing it and, you know, ticking off everyone in this base. But I decided, off camera, what the heck, let's go see if we can actually steal this thing. And I did, and no one's mad at me, so I think... I think we're fine, because, yeah, unfortunately, there is literally no way, at least that I can find, to fix the UIF power armor. I even tried going into the console commands here and spawning in the leg pieces that I was missing, as there is a console command for these, these guys right here, and when I did that, they didn't appear in my inventory anywhere, so I, I don't know. I can't seem to fix them. I can't even seem to spawn them in. They actually did take up inventory space, but they did not exist anywhere in my inventory list. So yeah, I don't think you can actually repair the UIF power armor, which is weird, but oh well, I was able to steal this one without the entire airport going against me which is pretty awesome. So let's uh, head up into the war room now and hopefully <laughs> actually move forward with this quest line and attack the Brotherhood. Man, so let's just head through here. Don't oh, care for all of your guys' stories. Oh my, we've, we've got, uh, we got a lot of people in here. Take a seat. Oh god, I have to get out of my power armor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do that and take the core with me because I don't need anyone steal. Oh, it's still it's still owned by someone else. <laughs> also, it's not showing the legs. Huh? Yeah, there's it's not showing the legs in here. Yeah, I don't know, but the the armor is really messed up. Oh, and also I gave my broken armor to Hitchmo. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down. Let's take a seat. Time has come to attack the Brotherhood of Steel's capital ship, the Trident. Eliminating it along with Elder Maxim will cut the head off the snake. Excellent. Well, I like the plan. there's no question then. We have the Archer missiles. We launch just one at the Prudwin. We go home. No work required. Oh, but I want to fight. And what? Destroying one of the greatest pieces of technology in the Commonwealth? I like you, Loomis. Out of the question. If you're suggesting capturing the Prudwin, I have a proposition. Oh my God, are we going to take the Prudwin? Five of my best men, and you'll have the Prudwin, along with Maxim's head. I like everyone. It. If we attack the Pridwin, Maxon will retreat. We will have a victory, yet also a loss. 
Samantha, you are in charge of trade and management of resources, not military tactics. The fact that you have a seat in this wall room is insulting. Gee, thanks, Dad. Wow. No. Gallard, I do believe you had something to say. All right, the prude one. We won't be able to board it with one of our vertebrates. Why not? Because the prude one has an amazing piece of technology inside it. One the likes I've never seen before. Uh-huh. The Pridwin will release an EMP blast that will hit any foreign vehicles attempting to dock unless they are broadcasting a specific encrypted frequency. How long would it take to decrypt the frequency? Too long. With encryptions like this, a month at best. We don't have that kind of time. We don't! There is another option, however. And that is... Uh, my scout drones were able to sneak past their defense, spotted a vertebrate that is always docked at the airport beneath the Pridwin. Apparently they didn't finish his lines. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh boy, alright, so we're gonna attack the airport and take that vertebrate up. I like the plan. I like it. Let's do this. There's troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That will be our ticket in. Well, there's no way we're getting a small team to sneak onto the vertebrate, hijack it, and capture the Pridwin without major blowback from the Brotherhood. It'll no, be a suicide not. mission. Here's what we do then. I deploy an assault force to the front of the base as a distraction, while a small team sneaks past their defenses and takes the vertebrate. Give me charge of the team. I'll have the Pridwin for you in no time. No, I'll need you here commanding the base while I command the assault force. You've been awfully quiet. I put you on the war room so you could voice your opinion, not sit and listen. Oh, 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 am I supposed to talk? Ah, uh, well, clearly I would like to lead the strike team. Or we could be a part of the main assault force. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with three. I want to be on the team, but I want my own squad at my back. Let's do that. Yes, I like it. I like it. Oh, Silver, assemble a squad of pendulum guards. I want good soldiers behind my back. Okay, okay. That one's not voiced either, apparently. <laughs> so, still some rough Gallard. patches, even with the update. Get your drones in position. We need eyes everywhere during the siege. All right, everyone, let's roll out. We have an airship to capture. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I like that we could choose between the assault force or the boarding team. I'm gonna steal this again, cause well, <laughs> oh yay! Okay, okay, let's do this thing. Let's go take out the Brotherhood. Let's go and uh, get ourselves a vertebrate to take us back to the Commonwealth, and then have some fun. Hmm, I wonder how long this fight's gonna take. We're already at the eight-minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna go all the way over here. That vertebrate. Or ooh, no, special vertebrate! <gasps> oh yes, special vertebrate. This one actually, yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Very cool. Hitch mode, let's roll! Let's roll, my friend. Wait, it's not there we go. <laughs> Had a little bit of a delay. I hit E and nothing happened. But okay, okay, okay. So me and Hitchbone now have power armor. I mean, his is a little worse for wear because it's my old suit, but I think, I think we'll be good now that I, <laughs> I'm better protected. Because clearly that's all I care about, to make sure that I live. Ha, ah, good times. And let's actually try and remember to use pain tree in this episode. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to use it because I've never used it before. All right. How long is this loading? I mean, we are having to load the entirety of the Commonwealth again, but there we go. And we are back at Lowell because it crashed us hard back to the desktop. Oh god, I was I was I was so happy. I actually did load into the Commonwealth at the airport with the Pridwin right above my head. We were there at the uh, back of the airport, message. and yet the second I took a step forward, it crashed. And frankly, I'm pretty much at the last straw with this mod. I mean, uh, I, I've really enjoyed it. I've, I've loved the idea of this mod, a whole new faction with a whole new unique storyline that actually mixes in with existing factions and stories in terms of the Brotherhood of Steel. It's just, once you reach a certain point, 
it becomes a hell to continue. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to end the episode for right now, which I, I actually feel kind of bad about because after missing a few days due to my flu, I really don't like just ending it after we had the war council. But unfortunately, I have no other option. What I'm going to try to do is this Saturday, well, tomorrow, I'm going to try and see if I can fix this somehow so we can at least get the Pridwin battle and maybe, maybe fix and finish this mod. But if I can't, come Monday at 2 p.m. when we'd normally have the next UIF episode, I'm going to have something else. So if I can find a way to fix it this weekend, I will. If not, I'm going to abandon it because, frankly, it's just gotten to too much of... Well, it's it's being too much of a pain. There are the much better words. And yeah, it's which really disappoints me. Like I said, I really love the idea of this mod, but it has been so poorly executed in the later stages. Which I think is what annoys me most of all, because if you actually go to the mod page, it pretty much sells itself as a done deal. And yet, I, I have not had this much trouble with a, a story mod in a long time. And so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm going to try, see if we can get it to work. But if not, we're done. I wash my hands of this and we will be playing a new game on Monday. Which, hey, if uh, that does come to pass, I am up for suggestions. But for now, yeah, that's going to be it, guys, uh, for today. For today. I I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can figure this out and, you know, jump into the Pridwin battle and finish off the Brotherhood of Steel and actually complete this quest with this faction. But if I can't, we're done. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today, folks. I do apologize. I wish it didn't have to be so. But unfortunately, the mod has left me no other options. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little something, whatever this video has been. And of course, that you do come back for whatever does come next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.